And last but not least, let's talk about, let's finally talk about Army of the Dead. Uh, Ricardo, if you don't mind, I want you to do the synopsis first, right? So, um, oh. yeah, so this year we we, we, we talked about Zack Snyder um, in, a, in a lengthy review of his, you know, well, the you know the director's cut that everybody asks for, right? Everybody, um, the Snyder cut of Just See, right? Um, I was fair to it, like I gave it a four and whatnot, because I just was an amazement of the effort that was put into making the show work. But you know, I know like you know, you for example, you were just none plus, you just couldn't care less, right? And yeah. you know, it just went into this deeper conversation about Zack Snyder himself and just him as a quote unquote author, right? But for right. me, I just always appreciated him in terms of just action cinema, just, you know, making yep. kinetic cinema, just making scenes feel larger than life, right? And with this show here, well, his official return to, you know, the, the, the zombie subgenre of horror, right? Right after his his really and still impressive debut, uh, 2004 film, uh, Dawn of the Dead, right? Still one of the best horror remakes ever made, right? I was like, okay, this, this could be good, like, no, I went in honestly with expectations low because I really wasn't here and I, I, I was trying to avoid um, reviews of it, right? But right, I was right. like, all right, ensemble cast, okay, Dave Bautista here, I mean, proving once again that, you know what I mean, compared to guys like The Rock, this this man has been getting like all these E plus, e, sorry, yeah. these, these E class starring performances in just a shorter period of time than Dwayne Johnson or John Cena ever did, right? So I can't knock the man for that, right? But yeah, I mean, it's another zombie film, and it's gonna be in Vegas, and it's a heist film as well. So yeah, um, so yeah, Ricardo, what was Army of the Dead about? All right, so sometime in the past, uh, like the Era Fifty One, from something from Era Fifty One, shipping something, and they get into accident, and they release some creature like a zombie ish, and it goes to Las Vegas and decimates Las Vegas. And then a handful of survivors, this, all of this happened years ago, a handful of survivors get out and survive the scenario. And basically, the US government wants to tactically nuke Las Vegas to, to end the threat immediately. Because it have no, um, no zombies outside of Vegas. They cordon out the area, seal it off, and deal with the situation. And basically, what happens is that this casino owner... Um, who's the actor? Right? Blight Tanaka. Oh, yeah. Well, actor? yeah, Hiry- Hiryuki Sanada. Sanada. Who, Sanada. Oh, yeah, who recently yeah, played uh, Scorpion. Yeah. Yeah, he was right. He was behind! Yeah, behind, right. <laughs> no, no, um, no, sorry. That, that, was, that was the line that he said. That was like one of the few lines he had in, in yeah. water cover. Yeah. Right. And so he basically hires Dave Batista's character. I think his name is Scott. And yes. to mm. get back to make, to get us some money. Right, and they say, look, if you have that smart money, that's higher. We have, and then we'll I'll give you fifty million dollars to move on. That's the story. And they have to get all these people to come together. They get Tignatara as the pilot. He gets his old friend to to work with him. He got a bunch of just shooting people who just you know to shoot zombies in the, in the thing mm-hmm. and living in around yeah. Vegas. And that's the whole the whole point. And it's just them them they getting together and they have to. But what happens is that. He has a strange daughter living close to the city in some camps, and there's a reason why they had to move them out, and so on and so forth. And they have to deal with this situation. And yeah, um, why didn't Zack Snyder do, do Suicide Squad in the first place? Because, I know, right? <laughs> because I didn't completely hate this. Like, it's still, it's still normal. It, it, was, it had a lot of good action sequences. I like how characters bounced off each other. I was enjoying it for what it was. But it was like it was okay. Like it wasn't that bad. It wasn't the worst thing ever. I was I was entertained, right? Mm-hmm. I could have we could have do I could have you could have punch up the story a little bit. I really like Batista in this. I thought he was great. Um, yeah, I, I keep making yeah, I keep he making was, he was. I, I keep making a, since okay. This is back when when Zack Snyder really got it, got on my radar, which was three hundred. Um, mm. I always made because I, I made, still I, love and, and defend. I know, I, still, I know, I know, somewhat, you, I know you're not a fan, but I, I love it. Right, I still somewhat defend it at least from a, you know, filmmaking perspective and actions perspective. Right, um, I made the joke. I said, look, they could totally like make Gears of War with with Snyder's director, you know, direct, like get Snyder to direct Gears of War because Gears of War you just switch out the swords and the brown and bring in the guns and the grey, and that is Gears. That is a movie. It's three hundred, mm-hmm. but with guns and grey. And it, to see Dave Batista in this with working with Snyder so well, I, I thought it was excellent. 
Um, then there's another thing that somebody had to... T- I, it's only because of the news of this. Only because of the news um, about this story and, and what happened with, with, the, with the behind the scene. I didn't know that they had to have um, Tignataro. No? The inclusion of Tignataro was so technically impressive in the story. Like... Mm. Well, um, uh, well wow. what, what actually is the news? Because I, I didn't know. Okay, so apparently... Tignataro, all her stuff was in post. Everything about her. She because she com- they completely edit out um what's the actor name? But he's a comedian or something like Chris Delia, I think. He stories that this guy called Chris Delia, Delia or something like that. He I, I had my well, I, I don't really watch the news so much, I can avoid it, but apparently he, he's some sex pestery, right? Some underage girl, something he get he text or something like that. So they, he got oh, okay. I'm, I'm seeing no. Okay, he was cut out right. due to sexual mis- misconduct allegations. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Right. 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 Oh. And he was completely mm. edited out of the movie, though. They don't shoot the movie. Oh. Though. And then they, they, they and, do and a you, bunch. Of I I didn't even know that, boy. Jeez. That's wow. what I'm saying. Wow, and I, wow, it's wow. only it's only when it's only because it's only hearing it before the fuckers like, oh yeah, yeah, because Delhi wasn't supposed to be in this, right? And then I was like, wait, wait, wait. Tignataro was shot after. Here's the thing. It is so impressive. Dave Batista has never actually met t- Tignataro in person. You know? <laughs> and there's yeah. a few moments with them together. So, well, you know, conversation. I was like, wow. I was like, but it actually nailed it. Though. It's like, technically, it is very impressive what they did there in terms of getting her in. Like, you could yeah, tell. Now no, no, I actually want to rewatch those scenes. You know? just, just pick it up like, wow, wow. That is so impressive, though. Anyway, um,. I thought I thought this the setting was good. The action sequences were pretty decent for what it was. Um, I didn't. I can't say I loved it, and I I, 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 I hate the ending because the ending just designed to clearly do sequel bullshit. Is that a sequel? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna mention the ending in my. Yeah, but I, I thought I thought it was pretty good. Oh, Omari was the guy, the, uh, the black fellow name. Oh, Omari Hard. Oh, Omari Hardwick. Yeah, have have seen right. him in, in a hot minute. Yeah. Yeah, but he was good in it too. Everybody was good. Everybody was bouncing off each other. They get a German guy. He was a safe cracker. He was good. The story was good. Dave and the, the daughter, uh, David Tita and his, his character, the daughter, Scott and his daughter was pretty good. Oh, they, it, it just worked. I, I thought it was good for what it was. Not perfect. Ending was a little clumsy and it was clumsier here there, but I thought it was it was actually funny and personable. I was enjoying the setting and, and how they were moving off the, the scenario. The big reveal involving the safe and what was going on with the money. It's like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And the, the, the finale with the helicopter was a pretty good action action sequence. I this I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. It wasn't a masterpiece or nothing like that. But I was like, well, oh, I was entertained. I can't say All more. Right, well, I mean, yeah, I, well, I ent- here's, here's... Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Go on. Yeah, no, yeah. I was entertained. I nothing else. All right, well, here's, here's the thing with me with, with this, right? Um, <clears throat> Once again... Go in with expectations low as yeah. as you know, I mean just just I mean it's a zombie film, right? So yeah. Um I made the joke on Facebook that um this is basically Zack Snyder's Day of the Dead, which is right. it's coming on the heels and ironically from two fil- from you know Dawn of the Dead, right? You know, both the original and, and remake considered to be classics of the genre itself, right? Of the zombie genre, right? But the follow up though you know, Daily Dead, and you know, after see this one, eh, not so much, right? And I mean, no, you're not supposed to compare Army of the Dead with Dawny Dead, right? But given the just that wide gap between films, you you, you, you kind of can't help but do that, right? You know, it's it's almost like you're just kind of looking at Zach as oh, you you're trying to do your own Dead trilogy, like how um like how Georgie Romero did, right? So yeah. yeah, it's kinda hard for me not to think about Dolly Ted while watching this, right? Not saying that they have to connect, but you know, it's just watching them as part of this trilogy, right? Which I'll get to at the end, right? Um, so like you, I mean I thought this was fine. I mean it was it was okay for what it was, but I kinda came out of it wanting more. Just that yeah. just kinda felt slightly underwhelmed though. Um and you know, my, my reason is kinda dumb, but it has to do with the setup, well, I should say the title right. of the movie itself, right? Army of the Dead. Okay, you could say it's about the, you know, the, the guys who breaking in, you know, to try to, you know, break it into the safe, blah, blah, blah. That's the army. But you have such a brilliant premise, right? Not original, yeah. mind you, but brilliant premise with, like, this rampaging squad of zombies. Right? And point also, well, I mean, I, I don't know everything zombie movie-wise, right? But I do... 
like the fact that there's like a hierarchy to everything now. So there is a general. That's all you say. Well, technically a king and a queen, but I call him a general, right? Because I'm taking yeah. you know military, right? Yeah. I just like the idea that you know he was the he was the first one. So yeah, he's the smartest out of all of them, and he just have these underlings underneath him. He has a zombie tiger, which is pretty dope by the way um yeah. i heard apparently behind the scenes they they actually netflix reached out to you know we gill haha wink wink um carol baskin you know, from Tiger okay. King fame <laughs> right. to help them out <laughs> <laughs> i was Good. like okay okay carol all right i mean people people still hate you but whatever do you think make yeah. your money yeah and i just like that whole concept that like it's a zombie army dread but right. they didn't really capitalize on that. It just ended up being, once again, characters in the middle of this whole zombie horde thing right. trying to right. flee, right? Um, another thing also, too, I felt like the whole um, heist thing was... Like, I love how it, it set up and how it's built and all that, too. But the payoff was, was kind of underwhelming, man, in my opinion. Now, I understand, I understand why they had to play it like that. You know, it's like at the end of the day, it can't be a heist film. It could set up like a heist film. At the end of the day, guys, it's a zombie film. So you have to do these zombie film things and remind people, yes, it's the world of zombies and people could die. So it doesn't really matter. But I just felt like, oh, so all this set up and it just kind of stops halfway and just be like, well, you know what? It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, zombie apocalypse. So whatever, people die. And all this was, was meant... It doesn't really mean anything, right? And it was such a bleak outlook, though, on you know the whole setup and, and everything. You know, you could you could understand it because it's the nature of the genre, right? You know, it's it's yeah. I would say like just these zombie j- subgenres, one of those genres where you could literally just let people know, hey, the world gonna come to an end tomorrow, as because of zombies and there's no hope, right? Right. You could just throw that into your film, add zombie or of the dead or whatever it is, and that's your film. You could just do that, right? And yeah, Day of the Dead actually had that same vibe to it in a sense. But in this case, it was more like, oh, you know what I mean? Humanity sucks, like really, really sucks. And you should really, like, even the undead are more likable than, you know, these crummy humans who most of them die, right? And... That's not to say that there aren't any likable people in the show. I mean, Dave Batista was quite likable. And actually, the, the, the crew that goes up to, to um, you know, to, to do the, the job um, are likable. I mean, yes, they have a couple of people, a couple of shady people behind the scene. I'm not going to say who. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you, you like them. You like them, right? But I don't know. For me, it just kind of, like, when you hear mercenaries have to break into casino in the midst of a zombie uh, outbreak. Oh, and by the way... Um, I'll, and also with the threat of a nuclear missile being dropped into into Las Vegas, you know, there's a race against time now to get this money. You know, you, you, you kind of want to come out of it like, yeah, boy, like I had fun with this. And yes, yeah. there's some really fun, really dope looking action scenes, right? Like, again, um, Snyder shows why he should be regarded as one of the best action filmmakers out there, right? But just the payoff to everything, boy, just felt so bleak and so yeah. underwhelming. And, you know, the excuse again is just, well, it's a zombie show, so we have to kind of do this. But, nah, man, I, I felt we could have gotten a, 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 a more enjoyable ending and still give us the the zombie goods and the guts and, you know, all that stuff that we that we pay, pay to see, basically, right? But we didn't really right. get that. Um, but other than that, I mean, direction is, is good, is, is solid, you know. Um, there's a lot of use of depth of field and, you know, shallow focus. And I was like, all right, well, like, 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 you know, we to see the show, you know, <laughs> but I mean, it's Zach's um, style, right? Um, he, he does that. Also, I really dug the title sequence that, that, that was, that was really dope. The song they used there was great. Here's the problem though, without spoiling it. I honestly thought that what was going on in that sequence. Yeah, that was, a, cause yes, that was a little, it, 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 that was, it, the title's a little reminiscent of um what do you call it boy? Um Zombieland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zombieland opened it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause yes, you're seeing zombies chasing people down, killing people right. like that, right? But unlike Zombie Land, which did it for comedic effect, this one was just, hey, we're just gonna take Las Vegas troops and zombie fight them. So we're gonna have 
you do um dancers right and we're gonna have you do the elvis boost theater right um i felt sorry for that guy in the parachute like <laughs> like how he was really fighting like- to the engine but i was like bro Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, I feel so sorry for you, boy. Wow, you that know, was sad. Wrap it up, wrap it up, B. Yeah, boy. But the thing that threw me off now, and then is only when the scene ended and understood, is that you saw our heroes, well, some of the heroes, in action. And I thought that, wait, yeah. the, is this, does this intro right? supposed to spoil what happened near the end? Because oh. I was like, what going on? But there's actually, no, this happened before, well, Slight spoiler before um, Las Vegas is walled off, basically. That's all you'll see. Right. But right. it, it threw me off now because, like, but this this stuff looking real cool. But why are you spoiling this in the sequence there? And in in retrospect, I felt like we could have gotten more of those moments where you see the characters on the ground, like trying to fight off the the zombies instead of having to run away or flee because of the the the, the missile. And slight spoiler, that whole. Okay, so they have this looming threat of the missile jet. And then, I don't know if it was because we there was um, the, the, the show wanted to be funny, or Zach was trying to be funny, by the way, he wrote the script for this, and also he's, he's the DP for this. So he's the, the yeah. DIY DP for the show, director of photography. It's like, okay, bro, do you think? I guess that's all right. But yeah, they, they, they just kind of up the stakes, basically, in terms of that missile, I was like, but what we 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 why, why they do that for? You know what I mean? It's always like an afterthought that says like, okay, we have to wrap the movie up, so let's just have this moment happen. But let it be a joke, but it's serious to everybody else involved in the story. That's all we'll see. But I was like, nah, boy, that's that's kind of sloppy writing. Right, like, why not have that be the lumen? Why that have why why not make that the bigger thread early on instead of just making it just like oh well you know you have to do this and then in a couple of days this thing will happen but no let's just raise the stakes up and yeah now now there's a literal race against time like I felt that was a real 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 sloppy moment right and then also the the end yes is kind of the disappointed side of things um just mainly because I don't know I just felt like like I went like but expectations were not met and again you know because of the nature of the genre we kind of have to end it this way because you know it's a zombie and apocalypse so blah right and, but the, the the sequel beta that they did in the end i was like yeah. okay really like oh, oh, re- yeah. really really like we, we doing this you know what i mean <laughs> and i like how casual they just do it too like is that no end credit post credit scene nothing like that you know it's just before you literally see the credits roll we just gonna have this moment just play out and yeah t- t- you know make make of it what you will right maybe we might get a sequel maybe not but i was like come on man like like really really but overall i mean the show was fine man i mean i guess it's because i didn't go in with expectations too high i i enjoyed it but i imagine like if i was a huge like fan of you know because well, honestly i'm not the, like i love um no one dead right but i would imagine if i went in expecting the show to be you know, bigger and better than that. Like, it's certainly bigger than Dawn Dead, but it wasn't better at all, right? I just, I, I guess maybe it's just because of how, I don't know, by the numbers, the, the this, this, this story was. Like, you know, the, the, the setup was interesting, but just how everything kind of plays out. It's like, well, all right, okay, you know. But I felt we could have just gotten more. We could have gotten more of the army stuff. We could have gotten more of the zombie stuff. It just kind of felt like, I'd, even right now to the whole heist thing, just kind of ended up underwhelming me as a whole right so yeah i mean it's fine for it is like the idea that i do see you know zombie fans sorry zombie movie fans going back to this and you know probably will regard it as a, as a classic or uh a underrated classic or something like that right and you know there's a lot for zombie movie fans to you know digest right literally right they're gonna love the um the action sequences they're gonna love the makeup they're gonna love the gory kills is they're, they're gonna especially love that zombie tiger he had a great scene with him right yeah. um but that's really all we get with that zombie tiger thing right um but i don't know still it's just like i don't know is it that just the the zombie genre just worn out and tired by now so uh yeah a little bit alterations a little bit because... it is just like well yeah right, a little okay. bit. the problem is that yeah. it's snyder because snyder didn't bring enough material to so you couldn't really, you didn't bring anything new, even though it had a bunch of great ideas. But like, if we got this exactly. 10 years ago, it would have been brilliant. Um, but yeah. you know, just, you know, we can't yeah. afford it right now. 
I think Walking Dead and them, especially, you know, run run everything into the ground. So it's like, yeah, it's unfortunate. But you know, that's them yeah. the bricks. I mean, ten seasons, and that's not even the final season as yet to do. Like, I think the eleven was the final one, but. But by yeah. now, I mean, uh, uh, sorry, I mean, I know zombie movie fans will, or zombie fans in general, will, you know, they'll have their stance, right? They will just love everything that just, you know, entertain them at some point, right? But for everybody else, it's just like, you you really need to come with something a little, a little bit more unique, man. You know what I mean? And despite, you know, the, the talented cast, because yes, I have to give credit where credit is due. I mean, Dave Batista did this thing. I mean, once again, just picking these, these E, E, E class, um, you know, uh, performances basically, or just yep, just yep. picking the right shows to be in, right? I, I mean, props to his manager, Dredd, or whatever it is, or yep. talent agent, or whatever. And yep. I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, he support the cast. I mean, they, they bought somewhere with him. I mean, um, I didn't even know that drama with um, Notaro, yeah, with Tick Notaro. Um, but yeah, boy, I mean, yeah, you know, be I mean? like the, the, the cast was solid, and they got some sweet action. I mean, visually, it looks decent and whatnot, but. It is of like you know just speed some standout revolutionary zombie film. Nah, it it, it wasn't <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. So yeah, um, written wise, I will give this uh, decent a strong three out of five. Man, it, it's it's right for what it is. I mean, I I personally would have loved to see it in theaters, but you know we are kind of glad I see it on Netflix. But uh, this is this is one definitely to see on big screen or on a big screen if possible. Unfortunately for me, I had to watch it on my laptop because of reasons. So. I, I guess maybe I did, that's why I didn't enjoy it as much as I should. But um, it's, it's, I mean, it's, Netflix, it's Netflix. So I, I just I I watch it on my phone. It's Netflix, like whatever. It's, uh, they could do more with this. It's a shame that we didn't it's get it on, on your phone, bro. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right. Well, I mean, you, you saw it, right? But yeah, I mean, for what it's worth, it, it's it's decent. That it's not certainly not better than than Donnie Dead do. But right, um, right. last thing I'll say, do it, it could potentially be. You know, um, Snyder's own dead trilogy, but he is hoping with the third one, whether it's Army of the Dead 2 or some other of the dead movie, it's better than this one here. So, yeah, uh, final thoughts on the reader. Yeah, um, six out of ten. Um, I had fun with it, I had much more fun than I expected, but still, it was just un- underwhelming. But I-, I was impressed with the technical aspect of it. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you give me some, yeah, so right, right, right. Hey, this is Matthew Bailey, and I hope you've enjoyed this segment of the BS Beats and Bailey podcast. If you'd like to hear the full episode, hit on my link tree. On the other side of my head are two videos you can check out. Like this video if you like it, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell as well. Thanks for listening, and until the next one, take care, peace.